Happening tomorrow night at the Durham Performing Arts Center is a Tony Award winner for Best Musical. In the Heights is here for a week long run at the DPAC. It's a story of home, faith, and finding your place in the world. Heather Burgess caught the show in Charlotte and sat down with the cast to give us this sneak preview. <laughs> Heights is the 2008 Tony Award winner for Best Musical. This critically acclaimed show with music by creator Lynn manuel Miranda sweetly and brightly chronicles the themes of home, life, and longing for the American dream, as well as finding where you belong. It's about home, it's about family, and it's about, it's a very, it's, it's, it's a simple story. I mean, it's, it's about people dealing with everyday life. It's about celebrating your heritage. It's about finding um, where you've come from and where you belong and where you want to be. With Latin beats and music that spans three generations, In the Heights is on national tour, making stops in North Carolina, first in Charlotte, and next stop, the Durham Performing Arts Center. It's always nice to, to bring the story to, different, to a different city. And it's been an important show to a lot of people, and that's, that's, that's a good feeling. That's a, that hits home. Danny Bolero plays Kevin Rosario, a hardworking father who wants to see his dreams realized in his college-aged daughter. Their hopes and dreams are in the daughter to, to uh, go to college, and I mean, much like a, a lot of families, you know, everything's for, the, for their kid. And, and the show opens with the daughter coming home to break the news that she's dropped out of college and uh, has been pretty much lying to them for, for four months. And um, this doesn't sit well with either of us. And that's kind of how the show starts. David Baida plays the Paragua guy. Paragua is Puerto Rican for snow cone. Baida actually lives in the Heights in New York City where he definitely sees art imitate life. Literally moved there two years before I got the part, so I was, you know, exposed to the neighborhood, the feel, the people, the corner bodega, like everything about it. And the, the Piragua guys were waiting right outside the subway when you come out of the subway. He's one of the first people that comes out with his cart, you know, selling his, you know, this is his business, this is his livelihood, so. Um, and you see him go on a journey, you know, in the neighborhood, and, you know, I don't want to give away anything that happens, but it's an enjoyable journey with some catharsis in it that's quite fun. When I first saw the show, I was like, this is genius! What do you mean there's a musical that has all this music in it, you know? Um, I related to it so much, and there's, there's salsa, there's reggaeton, there's music uh, that's influenced from, you know, the early 1900s all the way up. Lexi Lawson plays Vanessa, the pretty girl on the block, who dreams of making her move out of the barrio. Vanessa works in a hair salon um, in the barrio, and uh, she's a young girl just trying to get out of the barrio. She's trying to head downtown. That's her dream. She dreams about just getting out, you know. And the cast hears it is the array of music and the positive message that keeps the audience in the heights. I think when you watch the show, a lot of times you don't know what to expect when you, when you walk into a theater. But um, when you sit down and you start seeing these families and, and uh, these individuals start to blossom, you start to love them. And so you connect with somebody on that stage, and then uh, it takes you on a roller coaster ride of emotion. So it makes you laugh, um, it makes you cry, um, it makes you dance in your seat. Uh, so there's so many different things that, that happen in, in the theater. So when you're sitting there, you're kind of like, I need to do what they're doing, whatever it might be in your life as an individual. But uh, just for us to share that, it's, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> In 
in the Heights opens at the Durham Performing Arts Center tomorrow night and will run through Sunday the 27th. For more information on seeing the show, visit our website at unctv.org slash ncnow.